Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is the first of a set of short videos about colour theory. Mind you, colour theory, theory sounds kind of like a bit unpractical. It's just the term that's used. But in particular, we're going to look at the practical elements. What can we do with it? And the first thing we want to do is kind of get a better understanding of red, green and blue. Because in the colour world, that's all there is. Because that's how the eye works as well, or we'll see. So we, practically, we want to, might want to look at these colours here and say, what's the red, green and blue in these? And having known, because we know that, does that mean we can change colours just by tweaking one of them? That's the sort of thing that we want to do. We can make things darker and lighter and change the colour of things just by knowing the red, green and blue. So this is a dark red, and uh, but what makes it dark? And there's a light yellow, but there's another yellow over here. What's the difference between them? Is that one actually more orange? So that kind of question. And like down here we've got, well, this is grey cobbles, but is it actually grey? Looks like there might be a bit of red in it. What about the sky? Is that just grey? Those kinds of things, if we can look at it and see the red, green and blue, we can then decide what we're going to do with it. And let's have a quick look at the eye. The eye is um, a kind of like a camera. It's got the iris at the front here, those green bits here so that when light comes in it shapes the light so it goes through the lens just like a camera goes to the sense at the back like a camera and this is the retina and in the middle of the retina there is the fovea and it'll be actually in the middle of the fovea is an even smaller area called the foveola and this is the color area here as we'll see in a moment this bit is where the the kind of wires go back up to the brain to figure out what you're seeing and there's a clever bit, because you can't actually see here, it's called the blind spot. But the brain sort of like manages to trick you about that. So then, if we go to a, this is just the retina here. So the fovea is a bit like this in the middle. And then there are cells, which are part of the sensing system, which are red, green and blue. Or thereabouts, it's not exactly red, green and blue, but for all intents and purposes, that is what we're getting here. And the cones, these are because they're cone shaped, they sort of kind of concentrate in the middle. There are less out here because when you look at something, you're mostly looking at a very small part. That's your point of focus. And the brain kind of like helps you figure out what the rest is. Then elsewhere around here, there are rods and the rods see in black and white. And they're far more sensitive than the cones, which helps you see in the dark, or see more better in the dark. But in the dark, you don't see much in the way of colour, because the cones don't work so well for that. So rods and cones are useful, but where this is going to come back to this again, but the red, green and blue are the interesting things at the moment. So we can put these together into the colour wheel. So colour is typically shown like this, in particular hue, because colour is a mixture of other things as well as hue. So this goes from red, and this fades down here into yellow, green, and so on. And if we just look at it for a moment, there's a lot which seems to be green. We get a lot of green in here. There's a bit of blue, and there's this mixture here. Red sort of like smushes this side more than over here, because green is more powerful in our eyes than the red. So the green sort of mixes the red to create yellow up here. But red is more powerful than blue, so when it's mixed with red, uh, the, the blue down here, then you get the magenta. So blue kind of gets hemmed in a bit. Although you, the, the cyan colour here, we do kind of like get this. That's the greeny blue. But this is just made up of red, green and blue. That's all it is. So what we can do is we can go to one of these and we can just drag out the red. And there's the red and it leaves behind the green and the blue. And these are just mixed together here. We can pull out the green. And we can pull out the blue. There we go. And we can put the middle back again. And we can then see how these are mixed together. And with the way it mixes is the red here, there's a 60 degree angle here, which is pure red, which is this area in here. The then It then fades out on both directions from 100% down to zero. 
So that in this area in between, so between red and green, you've got this area here, which there's a, one's mixing one way, the other one's mixing this way. And so those combine to make those colours in between. So that's the red, green and blue. It's about how we mix them together. This was the first video. There's going to be a number of other ones in which we get into kind of more advanced things, but we're going to also show how these are going to be used in images. Thank you very much for watching.